Whether you just want to skate for fun, channel your inner Nancy Kerrigan, or learn how to stop a puck like Lundquist, there's one place you can always count on anytime you want to hit the ice. Today I'm here at City Ice Pavilion to learn how to become a future New York Ranger. All right, we've got Sean Prince, who's the general manager and director of youth hockey development here at City Ice Pavilion. Now, City Ice has a lot of different programs for various skill levels, yep. for both ice hockey and figure skating. So why don't you start by telling us what programs you offer for people who are stepping out on the ice for the very first time. For the very first time, we have a track for hockey players who are interested uh, in going that route. We have a track for, for skaters who are interested in going the figure skating route. Um, our Future Rangers program, offers a learn to skate track where there's no equipment required other than a helmet stick and hockey skates. Learn to skate for figure skating takes place on the big rink and learn to skate for future rangers takes place on the studio rink. Now this is really a place where kids can take their skating all the way to the competitive level. So once you've mastered the basics, what programs and camps do you offer you know, as they develop? As they develop, we have a program called the Hockey Development Program. Um, so they would start out in Future Rangers to learn to skate, and once they've mastered a certain skill set, they move into Future Rangers Hockey Prep, where they would get full equipment for the first time. Um, they learn the basic rules of the game, uh, face-offs, um, offsides, icing, and that still takes place on our studio rink. The reason we do it there is because it's more developmentally appropriate for the kids. It's a less intimidating environment. Um, they just get a better feel for what hockey is um, on a scale that fits their, their size and their age. Uh, so from there, they would progress into our Polar Bears House League, um, which is at the might level, ages 8 and under, and it's cross ice as mandated by USA Hockey um, through their American development model. And what that does is that shifts the dimensions of the ice um, going cross ice as opposed to going the long way. Um, and again, that's more developmentally appropriate for their size and age, um, but it's bigger than what they were doing on the studio rink. So once they've mastered a certain skill set and they learn communication, um, how to be a part of a team, they would progress into a polar bear squirt peewee, uh, which they would get full ice for the first time. Um, and it's just a progression. And then once you get through that, uh, you're about 12 years old, and then you can move into to travel or other elite clinics or programs. Now we've been talking a lot about the programs and classes that you offer here, but what do you have for people who just want to come out and have fun? Yeah, throughout the week, Monday through Friday and weekends, we have uh, open skate. Um, you know, that's, that's typically in the middle of the day and on the weekends. Uh, the majority of the day. Um, you can always check our website, which is cityicepavilion.com, um, for updated information and timing and pricing. Um, we also do birthday parties, so if you want to cool off in the summer and come out and skate and also celebrate your birthday, we offer packages for that as well. Great. So in order to give our viewers a real look at what it's like to take a lesson here, you've actually set me up with one of the City Ice Pavilion coaches. Absolutely, yeah. Do you want to tell us about him? Uh, his name is Richie Pernis. He's one of our longest tenured coaches here. Uh, parents love him, the kids love him. Um, everybody that starts out in our Future Rangers program starts out with Richie, so he plays a big part in the success of the kids who come through this program. Um, and he, he's great. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with Richie today. Well, awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm going to head to the locker room and I'll see you guys out on the ice. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace. Kicking your can all over the place Singing We will, we will rock you We will, we will rock you I'm gonna treat this like a hockey prep class You seem like you know how to skate yeah. But Stopping running so into much. the boards is not stopping yeah. <laughs> It's called getting hurt And if you're ready to get started, we'll get started Alright, let's do it Alright, I need you to stand by the comb did we but hold yeah. hands when we initially learned how to stop? No. Hold the stick with two hands, like this. All right, now to judge where you hold your hands, you hold the stick like this. This yeah. is supposed to be right by your elbow. And then you bring it down, put your top hand, that's, what you, that's how you hold the stick. Okay. So now when we stop, okay, basically you're using the front of your skate. So basically, you're twisting your hips, you're coming in, lifting up, and using the front of your skate. This is what you call a hockey stance. Hockey okay? stance. Okay. A little more down. Down more? A little more, like you're squatting. Everything is with your knees bent. I want you to stop at your knees bent. When you make turns, you're going to do it with your knees bent. Okay. Okay? Do I like, does this look good? It feels weird. 
Well, that's how hockey's played. When you watch a hockey game, yeah. do you see them skating like this? Or do you see them crouched and skating like this? Yeah, like more like that. Start from next to each other like this. Okay. Lift, slide like you're making snow. There you go. Yeah. Try it again. Always bring it back to your other foot with just the tip of your, with the, with the front of your skate. See? Same way. Now, when you skate to the other side, what you just did, you do that with the stopping. So I want you to skate, stick your leg out with the front and stop with this foot, all right? I'm sh you know how to dance, right? Yeah. Okay. So when you come in, think of it as dancing. Okay. It's like you're gonna twist, <sighs> and you twist with sticking your leg out. I feel like it keeps catching whenever I try to like... Well, those are your edges. You need your edges. That's what's gripping the ass. Rather than running into the boards, you'll be sliding into yeah. the boards. So let's try it one more time. That's why I said lift and just stick it out. You know what? Even though you don't slide, at least when you're coming to the cone, just try to twist, just to at least try to stop. Even if you do this, I'll, I'll accept that. And always keep two hands on the stick. All right. I twisted it a little here. Yes, you did. Okay. Now let's go back. See, not bad. Okay, now you're learning how to stop. One more time, back and forth. All right. Better than hitting the boards. Let's go. All right. Now we're going to do something in hockey that's called tight turns. Tight turns again, your knees are bent. All right, stick in front of you. When you go through a tight turn, stick goes first all the time. It's like a guide. Okay. okay, so when you're skating, coming around, and you come around back, and then you stop. Go. All right, not bad. Come back and stop facing the ice. All right, still better really than the board. Now start from this side. Okay, yeah, let's go. Stick on the ice all the time. Let's go. And when everyone says it can't be done, ducks fly again. All right, one more time around, back and forth, and then we're gonna get to try to do it with a puck. All right, let's go. Good. All right, now we're gonna do a little puck control. When you're holding the stick, the top hand is what controls the stick. All right, reason for that, so one, you can control the puck. Two, also to protect it. So if I'm coming around a turn like we just did, I won't do that. So if I'm making a turn, protecting it, I still have it. Puck always stays in front of you. It goes from your forehand, push it over, twist the stick to put it on the backhand. Push it back, side to side. And that's what you keep doing, side to side. Elbow out. This elbow stays out. All right? So this way you have room to move the puck around when you need to. That's it. Twist the stick side to side. That's it. There you go. Getting it better than the kids do. Yeah? Did I make the team? That was a tight turn around the puck. Did you well, see we're that? Not, we're, not, we're not there yet. We're going to do okay. it, though. But just get, skate, skate around, get used to handling the puck. Um, I have a question. How are you supposed to see in front of you? Like, what if there was a person in front well, of you? Well, here's the thing. One of the beauties with hockey and the, t the tools that you use is the stick. So when I have the puck in front of me, the stick is warm. Right. Oh, so, so you know I can look there. ahead and still keep an eye on the puck at the same time. All right, stop. We're going to do the same drill we just did okay. with the turns. Okay. All right. But this time, you're going to skate with the puck, and you're going to come around and skate back and stop facing the ice. If you lose control and it goes towards your skates, just try to use your skates to hit it back in front of you. All right, one more time back and forth and then we're gonna work on shooting. All right, that was better. All right, good. All right, shooting. Standing like this with the puck on the side of you. Now, the power in the shot, comes from your hips and your legs. So when I'm twisting back, all my pressure is on my back leg. 
As you're coming forward and twisting your hips, you're shifting the weight to your front leg. So when you shot, when you shoot, start from the back of the blade and let it go. Well, oh, oh, don't. We're not playing golf. Okay. Bring it back. Drag it. There yeah, you go. Yeah, go. And actually, it was a little hard of a shot. All right, there you go. It takes Good. a lot of strength to actually pull this stick back and forth. What you said. All right, now we're gonna do one more drill. Something that's gonna be simple. And you're gonna do two things at once. So you're gonna skate, come in, out, and take the shot. Is this a triple D? <laughs> no, we're not the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> But I do want you to start from the goal line, give yourself some space. Everything in hockey is about momentum. As I tell the kids, this is not going around it. Stick, puck, body. Imagine doing this when you got a goalie. You could be the goalie. I don't know if you can stop this though. Yeah. It's going pretty fast. Can you just hit it with the back like that? I can. You know, I mean, they do it in hockey all the time. That was a more advanced move you saw there. Nice move, another nice move. Oh. You score! One thing when you go to the net, always stop just in case of that rebound coming out. We got a trooper here. Nice. One more time. That's it. Now you got the basic fundamentals of hockey down. <laughs> 